proceed. That was the deal. Yeah. Senator yeah. Ludlam. Um, I've got. I'll tr just traverse these fairly fast, and I yes, suspect you'll have to pack a bunch of this stuff on notice because we're so yep, time Senator. constrained. Sure. Um, the audio description trial. Yes, Senator. Um, what kind of feedback have you had from the, the blind or vision impaired community on well, that? Well, Senator, I'd say it's, it, um, there are, uh, I, I think, two uh, levels, I say, and we to give you detail on notice. I, I think there has been, um, I think there was minimal response to the trial once we started it. Uh, but in recent days, there's been a campaign to have that trial continued and the the noise has been significantly uh, uh, louder of people who are using it who want it to be continued. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a pilot, but it is a pilot though. We're funded for a period of time, and that's my that's yeah. been my feedback as well. Actually, that it was it's been seen as a success. The reason that the volume's been turned up, so to speak, is yeah, that, it was uh, seen as that a could, could be right. So we, we we haven't reviewed, you know, we um, you know it's a pilot going on, and then we'll review uh, the impact of that. All right. Um, before we move on, yeah. It was, so the end, the analysis of its success or otherwise comes at the end of the pilot, basically. Um, which is how much how much further much further. We have to report by the end of the year, and that's to take into account any technical issues we've confronted in the uh, the process, plus doing a review of consumer responses as well. All right, um, Minister, can I just grab your attention for a moment and put to you? I suspect there's a political decision involved here as to when you get the results from the trial, whether or not it'll be continued. Because to my estimation, it's been a success. And as, uh, as well I, like yourself, I'm only hearing good response. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's got to be fitted into the overall budget context, and we'll be considering that uh, through the course of the, of the normal processes. All right, good. But uh, I would agree with your assessment that it's yeah. been very positively received. Are there any estimates of what it would cost to just to make it ongoing rather than keep it running on a trial basis? Uh, I mean, I think that's hard to calculate because you'll need an industry-wide response to it. And there are spectrum issues involved in this as well. I mean, we've had to display some of our digital programming to actually accommodate the trial. And I would suspect the government will need to take into account uh, switch over and uh, yeah. restack in coming you've up with a response. You've borrowed both, some... Both of those technical issues have, need to be addressed in it. You borrowed some, you've been borrowing spectrum from Channel 2. Has no, anybody we've, we've, because of our kind of limitations on space, we've had to actually bounce some of our digital radio programs off to accommodate the trial. Okay. And, and there have been quite a number of um, responses from the community in relation to uh, disruptions to their set-top boxes because of the lack of uh, one standard in relation to devices out there. So we've had over a thousand uh, complaints from members of the public that have had their services affected as a result of the trial. So oh. there are a range of technical issues. I wasn't yeah. aware of that. If there's anything further you want to provide us on notice about the transition between trial and full mm -hmm. program or not, that would be great. Uh, Mr Scott, there's been a bit of a backlash, as there always is, and this is probably going to feel a little bit like deja vu, regarding the ABC's proposed changes to Radio National. Yeah. Did management consult with staff and unions before final decisions were made on the announcement? Uh, well, Senator, we're in, in undergoing a consultative process now, I can assure you that there's been very extensive uh, consultation that's been taking place uh, with staff uh, this year. We've been um, looking at our resourcing around um, Radio National. There's been some discussion about um, uh, cuts to resourcing. Senator, I, th I think if you take a long-term view, basically the, the staffing levels in 2013 uh, will be much the same as the staffing levels exist in 2011 and, uh, and previous years. There's no kind of big cut underway into Radio National's uh, funding. But there was really quite an extensive consultation process that has uh, taken place uh, with uh, staff. This consultation process was about helping RN make strategic long-term decisions about how it uses its resources um, and how it deploys its uh, content. And so they called this the Production Sustainability Project. Began in March, has examined, examined all avenues, all areas of uh, RN's production operations and admin support. There was extensive opportunities for staff consultation around that process too. Thanks, Mr. So, get one more. Yeah. Thanks. Um, could you just confirm for us, just going to the long view, um, that in the yeah. last 18 months, Radio National Arts programs have lost approximately 12 positions, not including the eight that are currently being proposed. And that last November, ABC also closed down the TV arts unit, resulting in the loss of approximately 16 positions. Yeah. Um, I guess that's a quantitative question, so I'll ask yeah. you to take that on notice. And, and I, I can give you a detailed um, answer on our commitment to um, arts, Senator. For, and and it's, it's a story that talks about ending some things and doing uh, new things as well. Our commitment to arts um, remains very strong. It's, it's central to our charter and I'm happy to brief you uh, in more detail on our, uh, our plans and our commitment. Uh, so, 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr.